All of us here at Southwest Florida TV have a special place in our hearts for all of God's creatures, and sometimes they need our help just to survive. Quiachobe Animal Preserve has been helping injured, abandoned, and endangered animals here in Southwest Florida since 2001. And Quiachobe is not just an animal preserve, it is also an educational and hands-on learning facility. Kawaiachobe, the name itself, um, is actually taken from the Seminole tribe of Florida. Obviously pronounced slightly different in Indian tongue, but it's a, a word that translates to big cat, or pronounced slightly different, big screaming cat. The Seminole tribe used this word to describe the Florida panther. Originally, Kawaiachobe, when we founded it, was going to be a big cat sanctuary. Although kids love seeing the big cats, there's not hands-on uh, like there is with many of the other animals. The on-site, we focus on animals in general, domestic, uh, you know, agricultural animals, the wild animals, and their habitats. We do elaborate on a lot of terms that children are learning in uh, elementary school, like nocturnal, uh, the different types of animals like marsupials and rodents, mammals, reptiles, uh, what cold-blooded means. We've found simpler ways to explain complex topics to the children by just changing the wording. You know, like when you're talking about breeding of livestock, you can associate it to the simple cats and dogs that children have at home. You know, so you can make a lot of comparisons to what children understand to give them a better understanding of the way things work in the wild. The reach of the hands-on education here at Kawaiachobe extends far beyond the boundaries of the preserve itself. When Kawaiachobe uh, visits the classroom, we do a little prep work. A lot of times we're asked to touch on uh, particular topics and with a variety of animals here we're able to do a lot of that. When the children are studying uh, the difference between mammals and reptiles, cold-blooded and warm-blooded, well we can take a, a couple small mammals and a couple small reptiles. A lot of times because we're in Florida and it's such a, a high concern with um, conservation, we do a lot with Florida wildlife and uh, especially the Florida panther. When we show up in a classroom the first response is oh ooze, you get the ooze and ahs, uh, the kids are excited, they're always full of questions. But the biggest things that I notice are afterwards. Um, many of the teachers have their kids writing letters and cards, you know, thanking us for the day. If I take a whole class's letters and uh, put them together, there's not one word I said that wasn't mentioned in the letters collectively. And that um, is what shows me that what we're doing is effective. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more from Quiachobe Animal Preserve. We're back at Quiachobe Animal Preserve with founder John Slaby. Quiachobe is home to over a hundred animals. Now that's not a hundred different species, that's just individual animals. Everything from uh, livestock, uh, farm animals like goats and horses, uh, we have a lot of birds, reptiles. We also have the large cats, the big cats. There's uh, 14 of them here. But the, the big focus we have here is trying to put animals in more of a natural environment or a habitat, if, if you will. Uh, understanding how to help the animals means you need to understand how they survive in the wild to begin with. At the heart of Kawaiachobe are its volunteers who give countless hours of their time to ensure that all of the animals get the proper care and love that they deserve. The reason I volunteer out here is, uh, you know, it's, it's many fold. The friendship that I've developed with John and Grace, you know, you, you can't put a price on that. You can't put a true explanation. It's from the heart. Um, you know, they give to this place 365 days a year. Uh, you know, I come out here as often as I can to help them. And it's, it's just a, a great educational experience for me to learn but then I also get to give back to the community, educating the kids and the adults that come here or at the places that we get to go visit. Quiet Chubby's a peace of mind. It's so lovely out here. The animals are wonderful. The nature, it's educational. I bring my granddaughter out. She loves to feed the uh, goats and the horses. I love animals. I always have. And it makes me feel good on the inside that I'm, I'm helping something. And it, it's worth it to see the smiles on the little kids' faces. It really is. It's something that I've never done it before, you know, and I like it. It makes me happy. I love the animals. I love being around them. Um, I love and care for them. 
and I learn a lot too living here. When my husband's with one of the animals, regardless of whether it's a farm animal or an exotic or a big cat, I see in him um, happiness through and through, especially when he's doing a presentation of sorts. I want to share what I know about animals with everybody else. And I want more than anything to help people understand uh, the animals and their needs. The animals at Kawaiachobe Animal Preserve need your help. Please visit www.kawaiya.com to learn how your small donation can ensure this facility's existence for generations to come. And although Kawaiachobe Animal Preserve is not open to the general public, you can arrange for a special visit by contacting them. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Dale Schwagel.